Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're actually not talking about any books or beauty. We're gonna talk about some fashion. I, a while back, I wanna say like a month ago, had a comment from With Love Die, I think is how you pronounce it, so sorry if I said that wrong, asked me where I had gotten one of my tops from, and I, over the past, like, I'd say year, year and a half at this point, have been doing quite a lot of shopping with an online boutique called Madison and Mallory, and she gave me the idea to do a whole video about my experience and about what I have purchased from them. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys about what Madison and Mallory is, how I shop it, my experience, with them and then the different items that I have picked up over the past year and a half. So for those of you who maybe don't know, Madison Mallory is an online boutique that was started from a YouTube channel called 11th Gorgeous which is run by two women named Stephanie Tracy who again have had a YouTube channel for a long time. I have been a long time subscriber and I watch a lot of their videos and when they launched this boutique, I won't lie, I was skeptical. I didn't really jump onto making a purchase for a really long time and then as I started seeing them feature some of the clothing in their videos, I became more intrigued, but still in classic Victoria form, I don't like paying for shipping. And so to buy something off of their website, because I didn't want to have to pay for shipping, and then knowing that I didn't really know the brands that they were carrying, I didn't really jump right in. And then I eventually decided to, there was a shirt that I really, really liked off of their website, so I decided to just go ahead and pay for it and then get it shipped to me. Ordinarily, I would say I run in the medium category for tops, but my rule of thumb that I have learned pretty decently with Madison and Mallory is that with their tops, I am a small. I originally had purchased a shirt in a size medium and it ended up being way too big and so now I just go with a size small. I also learned shortly after placing that order that they had started doing a Facebook page where they were selling, they call it Madison and Mallory exclusives, but they were selling items through there. Some things are exclusive to the Facebook page, other things are things they're taking off of the website that they have a smaller inventory of that they're using the Facebook page to sell product on. I like the idea of this because it was more of them modeling it. There was what I thought much easier content to read over for the sizes and the model where they have you know all the size breakdown about the measurements of the model and then what clothing that she is wearing, which I found to be a lot easier to digest and a lot easier to work with. And bonus, on the Facebook page, if you pay your invoice within the first hour, your items ship for free. So a majority of the things that I have purchased are from that Facebook page. Their shipping turnaround time is bananas. Literally within 24 hours, oftentimes less than that, I get a notification on my Facebook Messenger that my item is already being dispatched or shipped out and literally things get to me in like three to four days. I don't pay any extra for expedited shipping or anything like that. They're just really on top of getting their product in the mail and sent to you and it's awesome in that response. As far as their return policy is, I have I haven't really exercised it because you have to pay to ship something back and for me it's just not worth it so oftentimes I'm very selective with what I will buy knowing that I'm not going to probably return it in the end the other thing to just be aware of with their Facebook page is that there seems to be a limited amount of stock that they have when they put something on the Facebook page and there are thousands of people that are on that page so what I do and what I've chosen to do because I like the clothing so much is I will get notifications every time they post something. A majority of the time I don't end up purchasing what they have posted because they post three to four clothing items a day which is a lot to be looking at on a regular basis but I've come to be familiar with the style of clothing that they carry and so I kind of know what I'm looking for or what I may or may not like so again I'm not buying stuff super often but I at least like getting notifications all the time because if there's something I like I have to act on it quickly or it will sell out and there's no guarantee that they will be able to restock it or if they are going to restock it at all but once you get used to it I don't think it's that like stressful or that big of a deal it's just a matter of what you're willing to put up with if you prefer to use the website you don't have to deal with any of that stuff but then again you're paying for shipping which you guys know I hate to do so let's go ahead and get into the clothing items that I have purchased so the first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is the first thing that I've ever bought which was a really adorable t-shirt that I absolutely love but so wish I had gotten it in a small it is this cactus t-shirt it has a really cute cutout I feel like t-shirt cutouts aren't as in style these days as they used to be but I really like the pattern of this and I just like that detail this is super long and boxy and that's what I've noticed about a lot of their clothes is that it tends to be more of a, a boxier or sort of looser fit which is why I sell 
size down to a small. The pattern does not carry onto the back of the t-shirt, which doesn't bother me, but I don't get a lot of wear out of this because it just is so large, but I freaking love it and think it's super super cute. You'll notice pretty quick I think that I buy a lot of cardigans from the Facebook page. The first one I ever bought I was obsessed with and I have gotten a lot of compliments when I wear it. It is this gray cardigan. It has um, what I believe is called a bat wing sleeve and it has um, like a fitted bottom sleeve portion there. It also has these cutouts so you really see a good deal of your side section. I just think this is so comfortable, so flowy. I was obsessed with this when I first got it and I wear it literally all the time. And like I said, every time I wear it, somebody compliments me. I liked it so much that I ended up buying it in the two other colors that they carried it in. I bought it in like this charcoal, not super black, but kind of a grayy black color. This I definitely wear pretty frequently as well. They're just such easy basics to throw on in the fall with, you know, any kind of tank or t-shirt and jeans. And this is basically my go-to Friday casual look at work. So I'm a big fan of the third one that I have that I unfortunately don't get as much use out of is this shade here. It is I think they said was like a brown color, but to me it reads as more like reddish brown or more almost like a maroon leaning shade, which I don't think is necessarily the most flattering for me. They did have it as a picture and it didn't look um, this maroonish in the picture, so I don't wear it as much, but I have worn it. I don't necessarily hate it. I still think it's a really comfortable sweater, and I'm honestly the kind of person where if I like something, I'll buy it in multiple colors, like this top I have in two different colors because I really, really like it, and that doesn't necessarily bother me to have multiples of the same item. The next item I purchased was yet another one of those open face cardigans. This has more of like a velvety texture to it and it has a um, scrunched up sleeve. It's about three quarter length, which I prefer. I have shorter arms compared to standard length, so I always push up sleeves anyways or roll them up, so I prefer not to have a full length sleeve. This goes down pretty far. The way it's cut, it's not a straight cut, so it sort of billows around your figure, which I really like. This is also so soft and so warm to wear. Again, another really easy fall outfit go-to for me. The next item that we have is yet another open face cardigan. This one though is a little different. This is a gray neutral, which you guys will see. I buy a lot of neutral clothing colors. They do sell some vibrant stuff on the Facebook page, but I typically don't buy that stuff. In fact, in the fall, I had to tell myself I couldn't buy any more gray or green items from them because I had a bunch in my closet already. And that was what they were mostly stocking in the fall on the Facebook page. But I think this is really cool because on the front, you have just like what looks like a long, different textured cardigan. You have, you know, like the waffle part at the top and then down here, it's more of your regular sweater style. It has pockets on here, but then in the back, it ends up being a t-shirt, dress shirt, like lined cotton linen material. That's a terrible description, but it's the truth. I really like that because it had all these different textures and different patterns and fabric on it. I thought it was really cool and unique. This I definitely think looks best with leggings if I can wear leggings. If not, I can definitely pair it with jeans. But again, I'm a girl who really goes for comfort with my casual wear and that is super comfortable. Something I picked up this spring, early summer was, I believe what they call a kimono. This has really pretty like detailing on it where you have some pieces that are see-through on here. It almost looks like netting, soft sort of linen uh, texture. And then you are actually able to tie this. So you have a little bit more structure to it. I've definitely noticed that if an item that they're selling isn't um, somewhat boxy, it tends to be very flowy, which sometimes flowy works on my figure and sometimes it just doesn't have enough shape for me. So I do like that I can sort of cinch this and give this a bit more shape. It looks really nice with like a white tank to add sort of that color blocking pop. So big fan of this. Another item that I snagged was a tank top. This was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. So again, I think it looks best with leggings and not so much with jeans, but I love the different pattern details it has here. You can see you've got different patterns, different textures. This is the same material as the kimono I just showed you guys, but definitely really breathable, really sort of soft and lightweight. So I do really like this a lot. It was a really good spring, summer type transitional item because I could wear it with a cardigan or I could wear it as is and it worked for me. The most recent addition to my collection is this sweater, which I freaking love. 
it is this sort of oversized knitted sweater with what they call balloon sleeves. I like that it has some ability to be a little bit see-through. I definitely would wear this always with either a t-shirt or a tank top underneath it because it is a little bit sheer when I hold my hand underneath it, but this is to me almost like a sweatshirt of sweaters. What I mean by that is there's a lot of times I'll wear like t-shirts and jean skirts in the summer, but I might go somewhere where there's air conditioning and I get cold and this just looks a little bit classier or nicer than me. That a sweatshirt zip up or pulling over a sweatshirt so I'm not gonna get a lot of use of this in the fall I think too because in the New England area it might start out really cold in the morning or get really cold at night but then in the middle part of the day it can be somewhat warm and so it's nice to be able to have layerable pieces next up I have a top that was somewhat of a fail for me but I did find a way to make it work that is this top the top that you guys saw me wear in a bunch of videos a while back I really loved the look of this. I'm having a real moment with embroidery. I feel like I haven't really shown that off in this video, but a lot of what's in my closet and on my pants has a lot of embroidery on it. And so I loved the embroidery sleeves on here. I think that they are so pretty and I love the cut of the shirt. However, I was not able to tell based on the Facebook group that this was going to be sheer so far down the sleeve part here. I knew I was gonna have to wear a strapless bra because you would be able to see my straps up here, but literally it cuts down and so from the side, you can see my bra, you can see if I'm wearing something down there. And so I had had hopes of wearing this to school with a pencil skirt, but I'm just not comfortable doing that. Even with a tank top, I feel like it's too much exposure of what's beneath my shirt. So it's something that I can only really wear like at like if I go out or want to dress up somewhat nicely. Um, I don't typically wear this as my go-to stuff, so I like to wear it for like YouTube filming and things like that, but it is not the most practical shirt for me to own, and had I known that part of it, I maybe wouldn't have purchased it, even though I really do love the way it looks. However, redemption came when they ended up selling the same brand shirt, but in a different style. So you can see here it has sleeves that are about three-quarter length. They are super gorgeous embroidery, but unlike the last shirt I showed you, this is a cotton, almost like a uh, t-shirt, this is a cotton, almost like a t-shirt material, and so I don't have to worry about any of the same issues with like showing my bra or not being able to, you know, wear it in multiple settings, so I definitely will get a lot of use out of this in the school months. So I'm really happy to have added this to my collection. And if they had come out with this first, I probably wouldn't have purchased the short sleeve version. The last two items I have to show you guys are items that I purchased from the website. Like I said, I don't do it very often, but sometimes there are items that they are showing in a lot of the pictures they're posting on Facebook that they're only selling on the website. So there were two items that I kept seeing that I was really into that I ended up buying. The first was a pair of wedges. I have been on the hunt for tan wedges for a while and I really liked the strappy look of these. These didn't look too tall or too, you know, ridiculous. These are actually really comfortable. I wore these to my bridal shower and had them on for like four or five hours and didn't have any issues with them. I got these during the summer, so I wasn't able to wear them to school, but I definitely feel like now that I've broken them in and these straps don't rub against my feet anymore, this will work out really well as teaching shoes. The last things that I have are a pair of jeans. I don't normally buy jeans online. Line. To me, purchasing jeans is like finding your soulmate. It is so hard to do, but I kept seeing these and I thought they were so pretty. I thought, well, what the hell, I'll just give it a try. And they ended up working out really well. They're a pair of distressed jeans that have hand-painted stars on them. These are the only pair of distressed jeans I own. I'm definitely not a distressed jeans lover because as you guys can see on the other distressed section, it started to really fall apart in here and gotten more distressed than when I had purchased them, which I mean, I guess it's gonna happen no matter what, but I don't love that they're getting kind of ruined so quickly, but I thought the stars are really pretty on here and they ended up fitting me. I ended up ordering a 28, which they had put in like their medium category and I'd still call my bottom half a size medium. I think these fit me really well. The only issue I had with these, and I'll show you guys close up, some of the stars are a little like blobby and I sent them a message asking about that and they said that on the website in the description they had written that these stars are hand painted and may not all come 
perfectly formed as stars, which I feel like is, I don't know, I don't remember seeing that on the website. I didn't feel like that was necessarily great quality control to hear that because if they are hand painted maybe like maybe you shouldn't sell the ones that have like those noticeable blobby stars throughout them and I was thinking about just returning them and getting my money back but when I put them on I asked Ben if he noticed it and he said he couldn't really tell unless I distinctly pointed them out to him when I was wearing them and so I figured it was just more of me being nitpicky so I figured I would just keep them no one has made any comment about the stars not being all perfectly star like so I don't necessarily think maybe it's that noticeable but that was sort of the one thing that now that I've had that experience I will be much more careful about reading the descriptions of things because those were not the cheapest jeans ever and so I was a little put off by that but overall as you guys can see I've had 85% really good luck with the things on Madison and Mallory particularly their Facebook group they've started doing more uh, live sales when they try stuff on and show you the item and you can purchase it while they're doing a video I really like that format because you can really get a feel for how the clothes move and if you're tuning in live you can actually type in questions about them and they can answer that for you which I think is really helpful the only qualm of that is they don't have like a set schedule they just happen to go live my summer schedule is more flexible so I can kind of tune in whenever I feel like it but I wish to put themselves on an actual schedule if they plan on doing this selling process they plan on selling clothes in live videos more frequently but I definitely recommend them I would really encourage you guys to join their Facebook page first if this is your first taste with them and get a feel for what clothing you might like if you don't like to pay for shipping the way I do but I'd be curious to know your thoughts or comments on the Madison and Mallory store and I'll talk to you guys in my next video real soon. Bye!